Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to share my January 2024 TBR with you. I have so many fun things planned for 2024. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Today I'm going to be sharing the books that I hope to read in the month of January. I have a couple of like high priority books and then I have some that I would just love to get to. So priority number one is for my podcast. I'm going to be reading The Engagement Party by Darby Kane. I talked about this in my book haul. This is an and then there were none type situation. It's and then there were none meets I know what you did last summer. And it's a gripping and twisty thriller um, about a woman that goes missing from her liberal arts college. And then there's a body found floating in the river. And then across campus, a quiet loner dies by suicide. And then there is a text that links things together. Um, and then law enforcement is coming to close the case, but they got it wrong. And now someone is determined to set it right. So I'm going to be reading this and discussing it at the end of the month on my podcast, Talk Book Us To Me, which is always linked down in the description box. For my Night Owl Book Club, which is a part of my Patreon, we're going to be reading And Then There Were None. This is to coincide with the And Then There Were None team reading challenge that we are doing in January. The discussion for this will be at the end of the month, January 31st, on my Discord channel. So if you're interested in joining the Night Owl so you can join us in this buddy read, go ahead and check out the link in the description box. I don't know what my in-person book club is going to be reading yet. We will decide that at the December book club which is on January 3rd so then we will discuss books for January but I also want to read the sleep when I'm dead pick which is good girls don't die by Christina Henry I've never read anything by this author before I'm really excited to try her out um, I know people have loved books of hers in the past and this will be my first foray don't know too much about it but I read every single book for sleep when I'm dead in 2023 and I'm not putting the pressure on myself to do that this year, but this is one I want to go ahead and try out. All right, an arc that I was sent is for The Fury by Alex Michaelides. The publisher sent me this, and I would love to read this one in January since it comes out in January, I believe. Um, but yeah, this is his newest thriller, and this also has a kind of, and then there were none. People go to an island, they're trapped there, people start dying and stuff like that. And it's fairly short, it's under 300 pages. So I'm really intrigued by this one. And then the rest of the books on my TBR are all cozy mysteries. I thought it would be fun to pick a month and dedicate it to my cozy mysteries and January just seems like the perfect time. I'm also going to be doing my book club retreat in January and I have a book in here that I think is going to be perfect for that. We're going to the Outer Banks and I have some like beachy cozy mysteries so those are the ones that I'll probably take on the retreat with me. So the first two books in my stack are Buried in a Good Book by Tamara Berry and On Spine of Death by Tamara Berry. This is one of Keisha's favorite cozy mysteries. I picked it up for that reason. And then on my podcast, I did a book shopping reading challenge. And um, one of the prompts had me buy a book with a cozy mystery with hills or mountains on the cover. And there's hills and mountains on the cover. So I have the first two books. I know there's only three books in the series and then it kind of got left in the dust, but I'm hoping to read both of these. I also have Chatter Off Dead by Karina Moss. Gabby sent this to me last Christmas and I still have not read it. So I definitely need to read it. I also have Live and Let Chai by Brie Baker. This is one of Lauren's favorite cozy mystery series. Um, I know she's no longer on YouTube, but I still consider her a friend and I've heard really good things about this series in general. Um, and this is kind of like more of a summery beachy one, but that will be perfect for my book club retreat. I also have the third book in the Trouble in Paradise cozy mystery series, The Girl with the Dragon Fruit Tattoo by Carrie Doyle. Um, I really loved um, It Takes Two to Mango and Something's Guava Give. The first one was my favorite. The second one fell a little flat for me, but I'm hoping this one picks it back up. And I do love the cover of this one. I also have the second book in the Record Shop Mystery Series, A Fatal Groove. One of my patrons sent this to me for my birthday, I believe. Let's see. Yes, birthday. They pre-ordered this for my birthday. And I'm just, 
I love this because it's like a coffee shop and a record shop together and it has like sisters in it, but there still is one main protagonist, which I like. I don't like when there's multiple sleuths, unless they're like side people, you know? So I really like this one. I really liked the banter. I really liked the record shop. I really liked the romance and I'm looking forward to continuing in this series. All right, a more like wintry one that I have is Dead in Gondola by Ann Claire. And I've had this on my TBR since last winter. So this is the time that I really hope to get to it. I know at least the second book has come out in the series, but I only have the first. This one says a mysterious bookshop visitor dies under mysterious circumstances, compelling the Christie sisters and their cat Agatha to call on all they've learned about solving mysteries from their favorite novelist. So I've heard really good things about this one. So I'm hoping I really enjoy it. Um, I also have two more books in the Mystery Bookshop series. I have book four and I think this is book number seven. Um, so I don't know if I'll read seven or if I'll like save it until I read the books after this one, but I definitely want to read number four. I probably am going to skip Samantha's story that she's writing in here. I'll give it a try, but I did that in the third book and I'm so happy I did that because I really enjoyed the book. I do have to take off a star for that because I'm not rating the full book, but I really like the main character and her grandmother and her grandmother's friends. And yeah, I just want to continue in the main storyline. And then if I don't feel weird about like skipping books in this series, I'll read this one, but who knows? We'll see. I also want to continue in the Camper and Criminals Cozy Mystery series. I have these two. I forget which one goes first. Um, maybe it's seven and eight. I don't really know, but I am caught up on the series. Not caught up, but I'm this far into the series. So one is Hitchens and Hideouts and Homicide, and the other one is Canyons, Caravans, and Cadaver. So these are really short, cozy mysteries. It's one of my favorites because it's just kind of like short and sweet and to the point, and it's very Southern. So I love that. And I also need to read the Shady Hollow um, cozy mystery. I know this is a very beloved, it's cozy, it's talking animals, but I've heard that it's like pretty cool. It says the first book in the Shady Hollow series in which we are introduced to the village of Shady Hollow, a place where woodland creatures live together in harmony until a chromogeny toad turns up dead and the local reporter has to solve the case. And then I believe, I don't know which one is second. I really don't. Oh, the second book. This is the second book. Um, it says, Long Buried Secrets Come to Light, Throwing Suspicion on a Beloved Local Dissident. It's autumn, so you would think that I wanna save it for autumn, but no, I really wanna knock out these first three books and decide if I wanna continue in this series. So this is the third book. It says, in which Vera Vixen takes on her most challenging case yet, solving the murder of a rat who appears to still be alive. I also love these covers so much. Um, and I really hope that I do love this series. I did read some of this one before and I was enjoying it, but I didn't get too far in. So I'm just gonna restart it and check it out. So um, I also have another beachy cozy mystery and that is by Book or by Crook um, by Eva Gates. And it has a lighthouse on the cover, which is perfect for the Outer Banks. I don't even know where it takes place, honestly. Bodie Island. Wait, that sounds familiar. It is in the Outer Banks. Oh my gosh. For 10 years, Lucy has enjoyed her job poring over rare tomes of literature for the Harvard Library, but she has not enjoyed the demands of her family's social world of her sort of engagement to the staid son of her father's law partner. When her 10-year relationship implodes, Lucy realizes that the plot of her life is in the need of a serious rewrite. Calling on her Aunt Ellen, Lucy hopes that a little fun in the Outer Banks sun and some confections from her cousin Josie's bakery will help clear her head. But her retreat quickly turns into an unexpected opportunity when Aunt Ellen gets her involved in the lighthouse library tucked away on Bodie Island. Oh! <gasps> I am so excited. Yes. This is literally where I'm going. And the one that I definitely am bringing with me to retreat is Smile Beach Murder by Alicia Bissett. And this is also takes place, look, it has like 
lighthouse on the cover type thing. But this one also takes place at like a bookshop. It says an all new mystery series featuring Callie Pageant, a former reporter turned bookshop clerk in the Outer Banks who was pulled into a deadly web of secrets when a mysterious fall at the lighthouse echoes a tragedy from the past. And this is on Cattail Island. I am so literally excited about both of these. So I'm definitely bringing both of these books on my book club retreat and I hope to read them both in the Outer Banks. Ah! I'm so excited but that wraps up my tbr my hopefuls my can i read this much in january um pile here and i'm gonna show you the books these are the books i'm hoping to read so many so many amazing books that i'm hoping to get to in january let's see how well i do but that's all for today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are having a lovely day or night a wonderful start to the new year and i'll see you guys again in another video very soon bye friends